Let's take a look now at displays, such as computer monitors, televisions, and the screens on portable devices. The display is the primary way that a device communicates information with you, so it's clearly super important. There are several key terms that we'll cover, including size, aspect ratio, resolution, pixel density, and refresh rate. Let's start with the simplest of the terms, size. Display sizes are generally defined in inches, such as a 20-inch computer monitor or a 4-inch smartphone screen. This number, in inches, refers to a diagonal measurement from one corner of the display to the other. Next, let's look at aspect ratio. Aspect ratio refers to how wide a display is relative to its height and is expressed using two numbers, which are written like this and pronounced as 4 by 3 or 16 by 9. The first of these numbers refers to width and the second refers to height. So a 4 by 3 display is just slightly wider than it is tall. 4 by 3 happens to be the aspect ratio of the original television format. So when you see older TVs, those are 4 by 3, and older television programs and VHS movies are in 4 by 3 format. Many older computer monitors, and even some new ones, are also in 4x3 format. Modern televisions are much wider than their 4x3 predecessors. They generally have an aspect ratio of 16x9. 16x9 is actually a very common aspect ratio today. It's found in TVs, computer displays, and even smartphone screens. Our next term is resolution. Resolution basically refers to how sharp and detailed a display looks. To really understand resolution, you first need to know that everything you see on a display is composed of pixels. Pixels are tiny individual dots of light that make up everything you see on a screen. Resolution is expressed as two numbers. The first is the number of horizontal pixels, and the second is the number of vertical pixels. For example, the first VGA monitor back in 1987 was 640 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. Ten years later, a standard resolution was 1024 by 768. Next came full HD monitors, which are 1920 by 1080. And after that, we get Quad HD monitors with 2560 by 1440 pixels. And then the King, a 5K monitor with 5120 by 2880. Let's take a quick look at some common television resolutions. Televisions come in three primary flavors, 720p, 1080p, and 4K. 720p is less common these days. It has a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. 1080p has a resolution of 1920 by 1080, and it's fairly common. A 4K television has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. It's called 4K because it has almost 4000 pixels of horizontal resolution. If you wanted to know the total number of pixels in a display, logically, you just multiply the width by the height. So a 1920 by 1080 display has about 2 million total pixels. The next term, pixel density, tells you how closely the pixels are crammed together. Essentially, it's an expression of the relationship between size and resolution. For example, a 27-inch desktop monitor with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 has about 109 pixels per inch, sometimes abbreviated as PPI, while a smartphone with the same resolution has a pixel density of 534 pixels per inch. This figure refers to the number of pixels horizontally and vertically in one square inch. So you would square that number in order to find the total number of pixels in a square inch. In the case of this smartphone, it would be about 285,000 pixels per square inch. That's a lot of pixels for one square inch. In fact, there comes a certain point, which is arguably much lower, around 300 PPI, beyond which the human eye simply can't tell the difference. Beyond that point, it may just be a waste of battery life to have such a high-resolution display on a mobile device, unless you're planning on strapping it to your face as a virtual reality headset, but that's another topic. Our final term is refresh rate. Refresh rate is measured in hertz, which is usually abbreviated as HZ. 
The word hertz is actually a general term used in a variety of contexts, and by itself it just means cycles per second. In the context of displays, it refers to how many times per second a display can refresh itself, and by refresh I mean update itself with a new image. In cinematic terms, you could think of this number like the number of frames per second that a display could produce. The lowest refresh rate that you typically find on any monitor or TV is 60 hertz. That's pretty fast, especially when you consider that a traditional theatrical movie is only 24 frames per second. That said, for some reason there has been a race among TV manufacturers to achieve the highest refresh rate possible. And it is possible to find TVs now with refresh rates of 120 and even 240 hertz. In my opinion, it's kind of silly, and that 60 is plenty for all intents and purposes, with the exception of some hardcore PC gamers. That brings us to the end of this video. To recap, we talked about display size, aspect ratio, resolution, pixel density, and refresh rate. I hope that this video has been informative and that you have a better understanding of display characteristics.